To download the new PDF preview tool, go to memoq.com slash downloads, and then once on the page, scroll down, select the Tools and Utilities tab, and there you'll find the button for, for downloading the preview tool. Click Download, then double-click the downloaded file to install it. Accept the agreement. Make sure that you've launched MemoQ 9.0 or higher. So we'll do that now. Okay, here we'll click Accept, and we'll just double check under the options for the external preview tools. Okay, we can allow it to change focus. Okay, auto start, that's it. Click OK, and it's ready to test. Okay, let's have a look now at how this works in an actual project. So we'll go ahead and import an OCR document that I've got here. Okay, and we'll open that up. And let's have a look at the PDF preview tool. Okay, it doesn't know which PDF to look at, so we'll go ahead and tell it. Okay, here's the original PDF that we made the OCR from. Okay, there it is. Now as I select different lines, nothing happens. Oh dear, why is that? Well, this particular PDF is a scanned PDF. So it's only an image, there is no readable text, and so it's not possible for the PDF preview tool to be able to track the original text in that source document. What we need is a copy of a searchable PDF. Well, I happen to make that, so we'll go ahead and load the searchable version of this PDF. That's a text on image PDF. And now, as we click on different parts of the text, we will see the respective passages selected. So if you're given a scanned PDF and you want to track that, then you're going to have to convert it into a readable PDF. Now here where I'm clicking, it's not tracking. That's because I went through and made corrections, so it's having some difficulties recognizing it. So if you are working with OCR documents and you're finding that the original PDF is not always tracking, what you may need to do is click on a neighboring line in order to get close to that section of the scanned PDF. This will be particularly the case where a lot of corrections have been made to the source text. Okay, but on the whole, it works pretty well. Okay, here I made a lot of corrections to the, uh, to the table, so those will not track very well. But where I made no corrections, I'm getting very good tracking. And as I go through, for example, and translate the text, the preview will always show me the original, whereas the preview within the memo queue window shows the translation. What I've shown you here represents the worst case for using this PDF tool. In most cases, when you have any kind of a document that you're translating in memo queue, 
and you have a PDF copy of the original, you will always be able to track that readable text in the original document to give you an idea of, of what it looks like in the layout context. This can be particularly useful for reviewing documents or for checking the context of your translation if it's a little bit uncertain.